Welcome to Tutorial Grid. I'm Cherokee, and on this episode, uh, I don't know what to call this yet still, um, we are going to do something fun. So I've been really, really interested for the past several, several months, almost a year, about how to take astral photography and astral videography. If you don't know what astral photography is, it's whenever you, it's pretty much trying to take a picture, a picture of the Milky Way. It is about 9.30 at night. We're going to have to drive out to a little bit more of a countryside to get what I think is going to be dark enough. So I brought two cameras. One of them is my lusty, trusty Red 1MX cinema camera. And the other one I brought is a Canon 1D X Mark II. So I'm interested to see what results we're going to get. And obviously, you're going to come along for the journey. So this is going to look freaking fantastic. So if you look up, which you really can't, the stars are absolutely out. There are no clouds in the sky. We've got some power line coverage, which kind of sucks. Uh, but overall, this is almost perfect. It's about 10 o'clock at night. Usually I'd wait till like 12 or one o'clock, but I got to work early tomorrow morning. So not going to do that. But we're going to see what we can do, okay? All right, so this lovely thing is the Canon EOS 1D Mark II. We have to set up the red first because we're going to have to set a black level. So this needs to run for about 10 minutes so that sensor can get heated up enough for it to be able to work and get the black level correct. Uh, since we're going to be taking long exposure, it definitely needs that extra time. Right, so, right now I'm set up at all the way wide open 2.8 at 15 second shutter 10,000 ISO and I think we should take our first picture so I want to set my drive though to two second self timer and the reason why I want to do that is is because if I don't whenever I click this button it'll take the picture and then I might shake the camera on accident so I want to make sure that whenever I hit that button it's gonna take the picture and it's and then that's it. So I just got probably some of the most amazing guys from photographer I've ever seen. So yes, there are better. But for me, a very first time at doing this, I, I think personally I've got some, some very, very good results. I don't think that you absolutely have to have the top dollar type, you know, flagship camera to get some of these results. I actually got very, very good results at low ISOs. So, you know, I guess it really all depends on, yes, what kind of camera you got. Maybe you want like a mid-grade. Skyline. 